Hello, this is Jetta from Trellis. I wanted to share a few thoughts on a very important topic that impacts every single older person in Minnesota, as well as the people who love them. And I'm asking you to take five minutes, five minutes to share your voice and make positive changes for our beloved seniors and to bring equitable funding formula to our state. And I know you have five minutes. Let me give you an understanding of what I'm talking about. So the Federal Older Americans Act, OAA, requires Minnesota to use an interstate funding formula to allocate these dollars. And every year we allocate millions of dollars across the state. The Board on Aging is updating that formula in the next few months. And the last time that that formula changed was in 2005. And the last time data was pulled was in 2010. And you and I both know that the demographics have changed significantly across this great state of ours over the last 17 years. And yet the, the formula is from 17 years ago. The Board on Aging is asking you and I to provide our voice. They are collecting comments from the general public until May 3rd. That's the key date, May 3rd. Right now, individuals in the Twin City uh, metro area receive 40.7% of the Older American Act funding. Yet, 50% of all Minnesotans over age 60 live in the Twin Cities. 51% over 60 live alone in the Twin Cities. 74%, three out of every four Minnesotans who are over 60 live in the Twin Cities that are racial minorities. And 46% have low incomes. So right now, the current formula that they use, that money is not following the people. In fact, for every dollar that the Minnesota Board on Aging allocates or distributes to older adults outside of the metro area, metro older adults get only 69 cents. Seems funny, right? You and I have a very important voice in this process. I need you to take five minutes to voice that opinion to the Board on Aging and ask them to adopt the current funding proposal, which we can live with, but has one change to it. Ask them to increase the minority factor in that formula to 20%, 20%. So how do you make your voice heard, right? You're going to reach out to the Board on Aging, and I'm going to show you how to do that, because millions of dollars, as I said, are allocated throughout Minnesota every year. We use this formula for lots of different things, and we need to tell the Board on Aging that they need to pay attention to the historic but the current disparities that people of color face. We need equity in that formula as we move forward. So we want you to tell the Board that the formula is proposed as, as we can live with it but the minority factor has to be 20%. And on this screen, you'll see you're gonna email those questions to mba.dhs at state.mn.us. You're also gonna CC Trellis. We wanna be able to track who's who's commenting and it's title three at trellisconnects.org. And the button right in the middle of the screen, that's from our website. You can hit that button and it goes right to the board on aging. Some tips, we wanna make it easier for you. I want you to be able to address those comments right to the members of the Board on Aging, right? If you're with an agency, tell them who your name is, what you're affiliated, the name of the or organization, uh, maybe your title, right? If you're not associated with an agency, no big deal. You're just an older adult. You're just a caregiver. You're just an advocate. You are important person in this formula. And we want to make your voice heard too. We want to honor that. If you're part of an organization, you know, maybe you're telling them how you serve older adults and, and what is your passion? Why is this so important to you, to me, right? In your work, in your, in your in your comments to the board, describe the importance of these fundings. You know, maybe you work with a community organization who has a waiting list for services. You know, maybe it's food delivery, maybe it's transportation. That'd be a great story to tell. Or maybe you're an older adult and you can't access services in your area. That's a good story to tell. If you're a caregiver or a family member who's loving on someone and you can't tap into culturally appropriate meals or services because they don't exist in your neighborhood, that's an excellent story. The most important thing is the board on aging, they're just like you and me, right? They're comprised of regular people. They want to make good decisions. They represent almost a million people in Minnesota over age 60. And the more stories we can share, the more input we have, they can weigh that. And individuals across the state are adding their comments, and we want our voices to be heard. If we are silent on this issue, if we do not speak up, they will do with the comments they get from everywhere else in the state, and our voices are going to be left on the table, and no one's going to listen to them. So the call to action is here. 
This is the crux of the message. Right now in the proposed formula, there's a factor for individuals who are low income, 20% of the formula goes there. There are factors related to rural, 20%. But the current formula says the minority factor is 15%. I don't know about you, but that's not okay. And if you think it's not okay, you need to act today. And this is where you need to, to go. Trellisconnects.org slash IFF for interstate funding formula. Go to the website, learn a lot more. It's important to understand that comments must be made by May 3rd or they're not gonna be heard. You have five minutes to make this happen. The most important thing you need to do is in the email to the Board on Aging, it must read, or it should be something to the effect, increase minority factor in IFF to 20% increase minority factor to 20%. Your story is important. It adds color to the discussion, but the subject line is key to grabbing their attention, right? So thank you. Thanks for taking an interest in this important topic. Thank you for taking five minutes to lend your voice. We have an opportunity in front of us that will impact funding for the next 10 or 15 years. So let's do this. Thanks.